Grammar Two for Level Two Students, Chapter Eight: Connecting Ideas. Connecting ideas with so. Combining two sentences. So combines two sentences. A comma is usually used when so combines to complete independent sentences into one sentence. So expresses results. Let's see the example. He lost his bag. He was very sad. In these two sentences, one is the reason and the other is the result. He lost his bag and he was very sad. This is the result, and we are going to join these two sentences with so. Let's see the answer. He lost his bag, so he was very sad. In this sentence, we see this is the cause and this is the result, joined by so. Let's see other example. The exam was over. The plan for a picnic. In these two sentences, the first one is the cause and the second one is the result. Here is the answer. The exam was over, so they planned for a picnic. We see this is the cause, and they are going to plan for a picnic. These two sentences are joined by so, and there is a comma before so. Combining two sentences with so. Here are other two examples. You have the test in the next week. You should not waste time. The first sentence is affirmative, and the second one is negative. The first one is the cause, and the second one is the result. So we see the answer. You have a test in the next week, so you should not waste time. Let's see other example. They were not invited to the party. They didn't come. The first one is negative, and the second one is also negative. These two sentences are joined by so, and the answer is they were not invited to the party, so they didn't come. Both the two negative sentences are joined by so, and we should not forget to put a comma before so.